In this lesson, we will uh, study the product rule of differentiation. And uh, what it means, it means that uh, you have two functions instead of one function, which we have been seeing. And in fact, some function you may see uh, look like one function and they are one function, but they can be broken into two parts. So let's see an example. So here I denote the two functions by fx and gx. So let's understand what will be the differentiation of this. So let me write the exact value beforehand for you. So it will be, you write the first term as it is, first function as it is without differentiating and g prime of x. So this is just another notation for d gx by dx or if we write this, we would write f prime of x. So this is prime notation of differentiation. And this is Leibniz notation. So these are just uh, representing the same thing, the derivative of fx with respect to x. So here I will write the sort form since it becomes lengthy to carry everything here. So fx dot gx and dot means product here, just like this. So first function is unchanged, second we take derivative plus first take the deriv derivative of first function with respect to x and multiply the second function as it is. So it looks very symmetric. We have two functions, the product of two. We take the first as constant and find the derivative of second and we add to it the derivative of first multiplied by the second. So let's derive how this formula is valid. So we know that uh, the uh, differentiation, the derivative of fx with respect to x is defined as this fx plus h minus fx divided by h. So whatever is in the derivative part. We replace x with x plus h and subtract from it the original one. So what will be d fx gx divided by dx. Although understanding the proof is not very important here, you can directly use it, but uh, I'm just explaining it if you are interested in the proof. Then uh, we would write it as h limits to 0, uh, then f x plus h multiplied by g x plus h. So whatever is the derivative here, a function, we can call it a compound function px, single variable x, so we can always call it as one function. So I'm just writing the value of px. px plus h will be x replaced by x plus h. And now we subtract this px. So we subtract fx gx and divide everything by h. Now just break these terms or before breaking what we will apply some trick here. We know that if we add something and subtract the same thing, then it does not change the overall Product, uh, overall sum. If we have a sum of a plus b plus or some more terms, we add some value and subtract that value, then this entire sum remains same. So we will add here f x plus h, g x plus h, and we subtract f uh, x plus h, gx and then uh, we have to add add it back so this i am allowed to do without changing anything and the last term is minus fx gx and everything is divided by h so let's take these first two terms common in one part and the second two terms as the second part. 
so it will be h tending to 0 fx plus h is common so fx plus h and then gx plus h minus gx divided by h so we have taken these first two terms together and let's take the second term separately so this limit applies to everything everything in the numerator and here gx is common so we can take gx out and then we are left with fx plus h minus fx and this is also divided by h now gx plus h minus gx divided by h where h is very very small is the definition of g prime of x so we can write it as f x plus h and this term we are replacing with g prime of x which is the derivative of gx with respect to x and in, in the second term uh, gx we are not changing gx is same and this term fx plus h minus fx divided by h where h is very very close to 0 this is the definition of f prime of x and what is this fx plus h this is for a continuous differentiable function the value of fx is approximately same as uh, the value fx plus h where h is very very small so we can replace this by fx so finally what we get we get fx g prime of x plus let me write this first a times b is same as b times a this is not a matrix that we cannot flip f prime of x gx or or you can write in this way also both are valid so that's how we arrive at this formula so let's use this formula for one solving one example so let's say we have to differentiate this so you see the usual uh, power rules and uh, some more addition rule these will not work here it will become difficult so it's easy to break it in two terms we know the uh, derivative of sine x which is cos x so dy dx of sine x is cos x we had already seen this and we can also di differentiate the first part dy dx of x square is 2 times x this is simple application of power rule 2 comes before and power is uh, reduced by 1 so this term we can think of as fx or this term is f prime x this is fx so this is fx x square I have messed it up here gx g prime x and this term we can think of second function gx so this follows this uh, this product rule can be applied here so what is this fx times g prime x plus f prime x gx so what is fx we write let me write the complete formula first time as it is for you to better understand f prime x gx now it's just a value substitution we know fx we know f prime x i have written it in the right hand side we know g prime x we know gx just value substitution fx is x square what is g prime x g prime x is cos x plus this is f prime x f prime x is 2x gx is sin x so you see how easy it is to calculate this from this you don't even need to write this one you can directly see this is a very simple example you will directly write first function 
derivative of second then derivative of first and the second function so try um, some more examples with this product rule this is very handy and in the next lesson we will also see a quotient rule so here we multiplied we calculated the derivative of product of two functions next we will do uh, fraction uh, of two functions when they are one is divided by other this will be called cos quotient rule and we will see it in next video